My name is Danel Fadija Peralta. I am a fellow in the Society of Fellows here at Columbia, and I'm a lecturer in the Department of Classics. I received my PhD from Stanford in 2014. I specialize in the study of Roman religion, and I'm interested mainly in questions involving the capacity of communities to engage in religious activities. So for my research, I look mainly at the communities of the Roman Republic and Empire spanning uh, the 4th uh, century BC to the 2nd century CE. Uh, my two projects at the Society of Fellows involve looking at religion and its connection to state formation and looking at religion from a comparative perspective and applying what we've learned about Roman religion uh, to other times and places. So there are a couple, I, I tend to phrase my own account of how I became interested in, in the Romans and in classics as one of these overdetermined phenomena, which I talk to my students about all the time. This idea that there's no one sort of moment, it's really a concatenation of moments uh, that uh, contribute to the sense of self-fashioning. And in my case, uh, the orientation towards the Roman world had a number of distinct turning points. So the first was an experience I talk a fair bit about in the memoir. Uh, that I'm working on, which is when I was a kid, I lived for about a year and a half in two shelters in New York City. Uh, and I was very bored, uh, as happens with uh, many kids who live in shelters and are deprived of uh, the kinds of extracurricular stimulation that would really enhance them. Uh, but I was fortunate in that our shelter had a library. And so there happened to be a book on one of the shelves uh, that uh, featured accounts of how people lived in ancient Greece and Rome. And this is one of my first entry points into, this, into the study of the ancient world, into making sense of uh, what it in fact meant to be uh, someone uh, living in ancient Greece and Rome, uh, how we might even begin to think about this. Uh, and at the age of eight, I was captivated by that. The major influence on my decision to turn to Roman uh, things and Roman affairs in particular uh, was uh, a phenomenal high school uh, Latin and Greek teacher I had. I went to private school on Manhattan's Upper West Side. Uh, I was very lucky to be offered a scholarship to go there. Uh, and there was a, a fantastically gifted Latin and Greek teacher there who's still there. Uh, and she developed in many of us a love for the ancient world, uh, especially a love for Roman things. She, she was very much uh, a fan of, of Latin literature. And that motivated me to pursue classics in college. And since then, there has been no turning back. I'm currently developing uh, for a publication a book project based on my dissertation, the title of which is Divine Institutions, Religion and State Formation in Mid-Republican Rome. And the main argument of this book project is that we have to understand Roman religion as a historically contingent phenomenon, but also as something that drove and motivated uh, substantive institutional transformations at Rome. The other project I am working on is a memoir, uh, which will be coming out uh, in the summer of 2015. This semester, I am teaching a section of uh, contemporary civilizations. Uh, and for this uh, section, we are reading great thinkers in the philosophical and religious traditions of a Western culture, uh, with a minor tweak, um, from Plato and Aristotle all the way up to uh, Hobbes and Locke. And what we have been engaging so far this semester are the questions, principally those concerned with ethics, justice, and political behavior that are raised by Plato and Aristotle in the Republic, in the Nicomachean Ethics, uh, in the politics. Another issue that has been raised, especially in connection with our most recent discussion of Aristotle's, eighth, of Aristotle's politics, uh, has to do with what constitutes a good education. And it's been very interesting to hear students weigh in on whether we should prioritize certain aspects of education over others. So what if you were too poor before music lessons on your own? Or what if you might have some musical talent but have had no way of determining or even showcasing that talent because of the meager resources of, say, your school district uh, or your neighborhood? Uh, what do we do then? Is it just a missed opportunity? We are now transitioning to Hellenistic philosophy, and for the students, one of the questions we'll be grappling with over the next few weeks has to do with how philosophy bears directly on how to live one's life uh, and how 
philosophy maps onto these broader ethical issues that remain very sensitive questions for us today. So one of the thrills of being a fellow uh, in the early going has been the opportunity to have these hallway conversations with my peers about uh, any number of topics, but mostly topics that bear directly on and directly on research that we're currently doing. And the conversations have proven enormously productive because I'll have a chat with one of the fellows and then I will go right back to my laptop and uh, follow up on this research thread or one of the fellows will email me to follow up on a question uh, one of us had raised and I'll continue to work to answer that question uh, or to exchange with that fellow uh, both over email and again in person. So it's really the combination of, of felicitous accessibility, the fact that everyone is here, the fact that we can engage each other in conversations, and the kinds of continuous engagement that are fostered by our proximity with each other uh, that have mattered so much. Uh, the Thursday lecture series, which have now kicked off, are also stimulating because they bring together not only the fellows but other members of the Heyman Center community, uh, of the wider Columbia community as a whole uh, to engage with uh, the papers that the fellows are presenting. And it's heartening in that respect to see how willing people are to contribute feedback to our individual projects and also how willing people are to contribute again to the sense of community fostered here.